This is the Camry Mini PC. Now this will pass for playing some games, but in general, it's more of an all-purpose multitasking PC. It's great for media or browsing the web or just doing a bunch of different tasks on the computer. It does have eight gigs of RAM, so you wanna be aware of that, it's especially if you're someone who likes to have a million tabs open on your browser. At a certain point, it will start slowing down if you have too much open. This is the box that comes in. This is the model with eight gigs of RAM and 256 gigabytes hard drive so it has a small manual and it comes with a mount and some screws if you want to mount it. it has a really small AC adapter and then it also comes with an HDMI cord overall it's a pretty cool design it's got a QR code if you want more information Intel inside and I think it looks pretty sleek I like the black color it's a pretty good size this is kind of a nice touch over here so on the front there is nothing then on this side there is nothing as well once you go to the back, you've got a place if you want to lock it, you can. You've got an audio jack, your ethernet plug, two HDMI, a USB 2.0, and your power plug. Then you've got two USB 3.0 and one more USB 2.0, and then you've got your power button here on the side. So you've got two locks over here. Let's go ahead and unlock it. Cool thing about this is if you want, you can just use it like this and have it be extra thin. But you can see there is a USB-C slot for extra storage. This can store a hard drive. It's just two screws to take this off. And then if you look in here, you can pop in a SATA hard drive. And this does support up to two terabytes. And it looks like there are some screws under these rubber stoppers. Let's see if you can upgrade anything else. Here's the M2 hard drive. Now you can upgrade this up to two terabytes if you would like to. Here's a nice teeny tiny fan, wow. And it would appear as though the RAM is inaccessible. Here's the processor compared with other similar processors and the average CPU benchmark score. So this is a low powered processor that you would expect to find in more budget computers such as this one. Here I am booting it for the first time. It does come with Windows 11 Pro, which is really nice. First thing I always do is run all the Windows updates to make sure the drivers are up to date. And here I am running a benchmark for gaming and you can see, yeah, it is pretty choppy. Again, this is is not a gaming PC but more of an all-purpose PC. It does work really nice for any media like music, videos, YouTube, whatever and I've been using it for graphic design as well and it does not struggle with that. Trying out some games here I am playing Real Mist and you can see it is really quite choppy but once I adjusted the graphics on that it became a lot smoother. And here I am playing Rocket League again not super smooth but it's passable. One thing I would like to point out is I've used a lot of mini PCs and on some of them the Wi-Fi for my network does not get very fast speeds. And what I found is you have to go to device manager, find the network adapter, and then in the advanced settings you select the Wi-Fi and for the value you set it to the ANAC mode. And when I do this, I get much faster speeds. Now, again, this kind of depends on your network in particular, but if you find that you're getting slow speeds, that's something you may want to check out. Overall, this is a really fantastic mini PC for the price. You can use it for most tasks and it works great as just a spare or an additional PC.